Hey, this is Swift and Cross from Albany Raiders, and we're here to do a gear review for you. So, Cross is going to start. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and start with my plate carrier. Um, this is a uh, Condor um, modular operator plate carrier that uh, I've set up for M14 mags and all that, and um, I've taken off the cummerbund and everything. And uh, so, I've got a Spectre double M14 pouch right here and a con one Condor single. Um, so I have six mags on the vest and one in the uh, in the rifle. Then I have a triple M4, uh, or sorry, triple pistol mag pouch right here, and a um, uh, <laughs> and an admin pouch right here that I've modified. I cut the pistol the little pistol mag pouch off of it. Um, got. A uh, tourniquet on the shoulder, my comm system right here, which the comm system is a, uh, actually I'll move into that later. Just a little teaser there. But um, then I'll move to the back. And I have just a regular hydration carrier here that I've cinched up so it doesn't hang off the bottom. And um, just a couple patches are AR call sign patches. Um, a uh, Condor gadget pouch right there. And a Condor radio pouch. And the radios we use, we used to use um, big fireman uh, radios, but now we use little FRS because those were really old and the batteries never worked correctly and the antennas were all beat up. But um, When they worked, they were great, though. Yeah, but they were amazing better. when they worked, but that we had never been to a game when one of them did not go down. So, um, And this headset um, is a uh, Bravo um, Bowman-style headset. Uh, not the uh, not the little rubber cut that goes over your ear, but the other version um, that's much cooler and you can still hear out of your left ear. But it's uh, it's very nice, and I have it run through this DTC right here, running up through, clipped to the pistol mag pouch, and it just runs through the shoulder pads. But um, that's pretty much it for for my uh, plate carrier. And then I have a Condor battle belt with. Uh, Glock 17 Serpa holster holding a KWA ATP and the little um, lanyard there because I hate the massive lanyards. They're horrible to me. He likes them for some reason. But uh, And then I have Max Edition Roly Poly dump pouch and what used to be a glasses case that I've turned into a small med kit and a uh, Condor duty belt that runs through it. But um, And this belt has a uh, little bit of like um, cowhide leather right there that um, or goatskin that's what it is not cowhide um, goatskin leather that is kind of grippy and then this stuff is real grippy on a on like a belt so if you're wearing a belt under it or with velcro on it or something it um, it won't jerk around and it won't slide up or down when you're uh, when you're running see I can jump around with it like that the pistols zip tied on there by the way but um <laughs> thank you m7 for that but um you want to move on with guns or? i'll go to my gear now all right. all right i have an identical plate carrier to cross the uh condor plate carrier very simple uh mine is really stripped down right now i have a condor double and a condor single holding a uh, mag m16 mags mag gun. um I have my radio pouch, again, from the huge fireman radios. I wore mine in the front. Right now it's holding mags. Um, because on the Condor plate carrier, we both had this issue. The molly on the far left and the far right um, is too small to really fit that last piece of molly into. Well, even though it's too small, I still made it fit. But I don't think it's coming off anytime soon. So it's right now a mag pouch, even though it's supposed to be a radio pouch. Uh, I got my, America, or my, uh, my admin pouch, my American flag on it. Uh, notebook, map, a couple other things in there. A single pistol mag pouch for my KWA 1911. Um, I actually keep stuff inside the admin pouch in here. I keep a roll of electrical tape and a pair of medical shears. Um, I don't think I'll ever need them, but I have them. Better to have and not need than to not have and need it. I have my unit patch right here. Um, a bungee sling. I got this off an of Air Force base for like 15 bucks because Apparently airmen don't buy bungee slings, so they sell them for really cheap. Uh, on the back, I have absolutely nothing. I have a med kit, med kit patch, patch, and a, a cat eye. And that's it for the back for mine. Um, 
more often than not, I'll end up taking the med kit off and running a backpack or a hydration carrier over the plate carrier that I can ditch if I need to. Um, I don't wear a battle belt. I have just a rigger's belt on, black rigger's belt. I keep my dump pouch left side because I'm right-handed. And I have a drop leg for my pistol. Uh, Serpa with the molly mount on the drop leg. A double pistol mag pouch so that I keep a multi-tool and I can keep another pistol mag in if I need to. And I took the, uh, the clip off so it runs up really high, almost to where it's just a normal holster. Uh, it goes up really high, it won't go forward and backward. Just drop um, it down to where it clears your gear. Yes, it's just below my gear, so it's awesome. You can go into your rifle mount. Um, and for the rifles, I use a uh, SEMA M14 SOCOM, which is for sale, shameless plug for me. Um, with a uh, GNP aim point on top, a uh, Spectre single point sling, um, and I've mounted rails right here and tan paint job and taped the grip. But um, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and it's got a uh, um, G and G high torque motor inside. But um, and I use King Arms mags, which they feed. Well, once you uh, once you really break them in, they have a long break-in period. Um, my sidearm, a uh, KWA ATP, which I've stippled all over the uh, frame. Um, and we'll be trying to do more in-depth gun and gear re reviews yeah, later on. Yeah, more close-up. You can't really see stippling or any of that right now. But um, it's. It's very reliable. I haven't had any problems in it w or with it whatsoever. Um, and I've got a little lanyard on the back right here that just attaches to the lanyard hole. But um, that, and I usually, I would be sniping more often, but this one is not operational at this point. But um, it's a KJ, or KJW M700 that I got for a really good deal. So. Uh, I was planning on upgrading it, and soon I should have the, uh, the money from selling a, a different gun um, that uh, I should be able to finish upgrading this to make it where it'll shoot um, competitively. Um, make, or running off the of CO2 and all that. <laughs> and, um, uh, and then like minor gear gloves, which are just, I found these at Big Lots for eight dollars and fell in love with them. Shame. Um, and a brown mesh Shemog, green regular Shemog, for whatever reason. Um, you wanna go into iPro? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I have Bobster Echo convertibles. Um, they'll convert from the, from the uh, strap goggles with uh, foam on the inside to just regular glasses with a little retention strap. Um, with uh, shaded, like tinted or uh, or clear lenses. Feel all alone now. Back. Feel all feel all lonely. Okay. Um, and both of us use uh, Thunder Bees, which are sometimes uh, unreliable and sometimes very reliable. It depends uh, on whether they decide to work. But um, yeah, that's. Pretty much it for me. I mean, I've got call sign patches and all that all over my rig. Um, the Texas "Don't Tread on Me" pat the patch, um, and that's pretty much it for me. I have uh, usually I wear mesh goggles. I got them off EB Airsoft, but I left them at home. Uh, so here's my backup eye pro, or for like a game where you have to have full seal, you can't use normal eye pro. These are uh, Wiley X's. Um, they're pretty comfortable. You have to wear a strap with them almost because they're really loose on my face. Like that. Um, so you normally I wear the goggle strap with them. They're good to go. Clear and shaded lenses. Um, and I'm just going to do a reverse of what Cross did. So that's my iPro. And then obviously mesh goggles is what I normally wear. Um, I have my KWA Mark III 1911 professional training pistol. Um, I'm a huge fan of the 1911 personally. Cross enjoys his, uh, his ATP model up the Glock. I like the 1911. It's just a personal preference. Um, and then I have my KWA M4 RIS, which, again, running the GMP aim point, um, sort of uh, folding front and rear sights, and mag pull to some extent. I have a mag pull uh, pistol grip in the mail right now on the way here, so it will be even more mag pulled soon. Um, 
I don't really have much else. Okay. Um, and uh, one thing, I, one other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, our camo. We we use um, Marine Corps issue Marpad, and this is Desert Marpad. We also wear woodland for whatever climate or uh, environment. But um, uh, our boots and our hats are another thing. I'll start with boots. Um, I wear a uh, Merrill Sawtooth. These are easily the most comfortable boots I've ever worn. They're uh, they're not very flexible, which is a good thing for some people, bad thing for others. They're not like a tennis shoe, but they uh, like if you're if you're kneeling down and you're um, kneeling on your feet, you don't have to. Um, you, you your toes don't get um, squished bent and squished, so when you stand up, you don't have pain in your toes. Um, but they're awesome. I got them for 115 off of uh, shoebuy.com. They're amazing boots. But uh, and then our hats. Um, these are U.S. Cav um, uh, brand hats that came with uh, embroidery on the back and a little U.S. flag on the top. And believe it or not, they're actually the same hat. Even though I don't know if you can tell on the camera, they're completely different shades. His didn't come that shape, did it? I think it did. I think. I don't know. Either I think it's they're faded. the same hat, or I just wear mine a lot more than yeah, you. Yeah, I don't wear mine very often. Um, but, um, I wear mine all around town. And then I wear just Marine Corps issue, even have the EGA on them, base, normal issue um, boots. I do wear steel toe, even though we play field, um, mainly because that's the pair of boots that I have. If I went out and bought a pair without steel toe, I'd wear those. Steel toe are fine, they're heavy duty, they match good. Um, that's it. We both wear Riggers belts. Yeah. Uh, this is a Black Hawk, mine's a Condor. Everyone on our team just about wears rigger, Riggers belts or the issue uh, like Marsh, Mar Marine Corps McMap belts um, just because they work good to keep your pants up. So that's kind of what the belt's for. And most of them, including uh, most of the McMap belts or belts, work decently to hold a pistol. So they're pretty rigid. All right. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, we'll. Uh, We'll get a we'll get more videos, especially more in-depth stuff on the guns um, the gear. and uh, like more specialized reviews on the gear. But uh, um, that's pretty much it for today. And so thanks for we'll, watching. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.